Good morning, people. It's 8.10 in the morning and we are in Sereni Eco Hotel, right between in the town of Norcasia and Samana. Today, we're sadly living this place, but we are living with a big smiles on our face uh, because we absolutely love this place. All thanks to Tom and his girlfriend who show us around this region. We were in horseback riding. We went to visit nearby rivers. It is a beautiful area and we would love to come back to this place. For now, we have to say bye to this wonderful view. Thank you for showing us around. We had a wonderful time. Thank you very wonderful much. Wonderful time, yeah. Let me know if you're in Medellin. Okay. And, uh, because we'll be in Medellin next week as well. Okay. Cheers, I'll give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you so very much. much. Thanks, Ciao. Tom. Okay, take care. Cheers, take care. Say hi to Maria as well. I will do. <laughs> We're back in the town of Norcasia. Now we're gonna try to find a gas station here in town before uh, heading out today. There must be a gas station here. Okay, here it is. Very small gas station. Wonder if we can pay by car. Buenas, ambas eh, llenas de corriente, porfa. Sí. Aquí es con tarjeta o solo efectivo? Vale. We're quite low on cash, so we gotta go to an ATM or yeah. Gracias, muy amable. Hasta luego. Well, right now we're heading out of Norcasia. The plan is to drive all the way to a town called Sonson. It's only about 150 kilometers away from here. However, it's going to be mostly off-road. So according to Google, it takes about five hours to get there. <laughs> yeah, that's the road condition. Uh, the town of Sonson, actually, we had the chance of visiting last year. It is a very beautiful town and it was one of the towns that were that was inaccessible due to the guerrilla. It was a town that was guerrilla territory for decades and nowadays it's slowly open to tourism but it's not not really visited by many people you know so yeah that's the plan for today right now we're actually in between the eastern mountain range and the central one Two kids on that select electric scooter or yeah, electric skater. I don't know how you call it. I guess this is a very famous viewpoint of the um, of the Amani Water Reservoir. But the the views we got from the top of uh, Tom's Hotel there, I mean, <laughs> are unbeatable. It was really amazing. We are now in a small town called Berlin and I think this town is the end of this paved road. Afterward it's gonna be fully unpaved. Tejo. Tejo is Colombia's, na Colombia's national sport and usually in these small towns it's where you find these small places where you can play it. The local butcher. Wow. I guess this is where the the off-road starts. Might be a bit muddy because it rained a lot last night. Oh. It seems this is going to be a very rocky road. You can barely see the dock here. Even though we had heavy rain last night, it doesn't seem to be a lot of mud in this area. 
there might be some parts here and there where it's really muddy. We'll just have to deal with that when the time comes. The temperature's getting a little bit colder. It's quite chilly, but the sky seems to be okay. No dark clouds ahead. Well, I guess this is our first encounter with mud. It's not too bad. Doesn't look that bad. And it doesn't feel that bad either. <laughs> well, this part is really muddy. Just gonna go nice and slow. There's water as well. A bit slippery at the end there. Hey buddy, you're chilling right in the middle of the road. Ooh. <coughs> Buenas! Oh. a bit slippery this looks like a little nice hotel up here in the hills oh there's a horse carrying the guadua for construction maybe I guess this road it's so bumpy that I'm starting to feel for the motorbike <laughs> I know these bikes are meant for this but that doesn't stop me from um, feeling bad for the bike a bit. <laughs> this is fun for a while, but if it's like this the five hours today, it's gonna be super tiring. I'm not liking too much that cloud over there. It's looking a little bit too great for my taste. Uh, finger cross, you guys, finger cross. It's not gonna be raining today. The road is closed. I'm just gonna ask how long we'll have to wait here. Buenas. Cuánto, cada cuánto están dando vía? Ah, okay. Arriba también está cerrada. Vale, gracias. Well, on the one hand, I know it's a good idea that they're working on this road because otherwise it would be probably super rocky and super muddy. And now, thanks to that big machine over there, the road is kind of flat. But on the other hand, if it takes long and we have to wait like 20, 40 minutes here, well, it's gonna be, we're gonna be in some some maybe around 6 p.m. and we don't want that. You definitely don't want to find yourself under that thing. Gracias. Gracias. We're good to go. It was just this short part of the road. I guess this is where the second uh, the second roadblock is, but they're not stopping us. <coughs> Gracias. Buenas! <laughs> People are so kind around this area, like literally everybody smiles at you. Oh, the 
look at that. They have a trapiche up here. Uh, this is where they prepare the the raw sugar panela. Buenas. Podemos mirar un cómo lo hacen. Gracias. Oh, this is cool, man. I think it's a family it's a family business here. They're producing panela. Raw sugar. Buenas, con permiso. Uy, está oliendo bien bueno. Aquí la cocinan primero. Sí, Y luego pasa aquí. Ah, okay, wow. Muy chévere. Está oliendo súper rico. Y está luego dónde la venden? Las tiendas. Acá en la región. Okay. Y la caña de azúcar la cultivan aquí atrás. Bueno, muy amable, muchas gracias. Que estén bien. Gracias. Wow. This was really sweet. Yeah. All of this must be organic panela. Wow. Oh. Gracias. I love finding these places up here in the mountains. It smells so good. So, so good. Mm. You know what this road feels like? Just picture a river with no water at all. This is what it is. This road is just like that, super rocky. This road, it went from being tough to being even tougher. <laughs> so many big rocks. Look at this. Tell me it doesn't look like a dry river. It's a dry river, man, this. Oh, this dry river is endless. Wow. Uh, this is the rural bus in Colombia. This is how the locals get around and how they bring their groceries and stuff up here. なんでもありだよこの道。この道に終わりが見えません。勝負です。ロッキー。スーパーロッキーです。Google <笑> これが主要道路です。
It's already 12.30. I don't think we're gonna be able to find a place to have lunch nowhere around here. So the only thing we have with us are these two things. We're gonna snack on these until we find a place to have lunch. Mm. My cito. Patata. Sweet potato, purple yuca, and another another thing. Venas. Venas. We're honestly super lucky to have found this place here selling lunches because usually there's nothing around. There's just houses, but no like restaurants like this. This is our lunch today. Good. This salad actually has a sweet taste. Not my favorite. Why not? It is pretty hot right now. I think we're descending already. This morning we were going uphill. Now it's the opposite. There's a lot of cacao trees around here. All of this, this is all cacao. We still have about two more hours of this. Oh no, maybe about an hour and a half before reaching Nariño. And I think from the town of Nariño, the road will improve it a lot all the way to Sonson. Oh, look at that. We made it to Puente Linda. The woman at the restaurant told me it was, it was going to be really beautiful here. Wow, this river is calling up for a swim. Wow. Man, look at the water. Really clear. Nariño, 20 kilometers, Sonson, 53. That's where we're going, Sonson. Oh, look at that. It's the first time I see a town having the trash really well organized. Carton, uh, the plastic bottles, they're all divided. This You don't even see these in the big cities. Oh, I could honestly go for a swim right now in that river. Really, really hot now. Oh man, this is a big chiva. <laughs> ah! Man, I thought it was coming my way. <laughs> that guy almost hit me. I swear that was too close. He was going straight into me. We fit. Ooh. Epa! And the Colombian cowboy. Hola. I think we've made it to the war spot. Woo I can see potholes and mud ahead. Last number, maybe five, that would cross today. Right now that we're in Nariño, we are at a pretty low elevation, so it's nice and warm. But as we go up to Sonson, the climate is going to change. It's going to be a little bit chilly. This weather changes drastically. <laughs> We're up in the mountains. It's all covered by fog. Uh, look at that. Now we're getting all dressed up for the weather, for this weather. 
Wow, look at this. Super foggy right now. Super, super foggy. We can't see anything down there anymore. Oh, it's really cold. Man! <gasps> Ooh, this is supposed to be a viewpoint, but you can't see a single thing. Not a single thing. Well, welcome to the town of Sonson, you guys. This town used to be off limits for decades. We actually haven't booked a hotel for tonight because we were not sure if we were gonna make it here or go a little bit farther. So um, we're just gonna see a couple hotels if they have a room available for tonight. There is a hotel here. It's good because it has a parking space. Buenas. Podemos decir en cuartos para esta noche? Sí, señora. Sí. Será usted en agua caliente? Mucha agua caliente, padre. Aquí es, el vamos al otro allá arriba. Ah, bueno, vale. Gracias. We are at the main square in Sonson. This is actually our second time here. It is super cold, let me tell you. This, we are about at the same altitude as in Bogota. Uh, we just had dinner here. We are going to be resting tonight very well because the road was quite a challenge today. It was just over 100 kilometers, but it took us about five hours to get to Sonson. Man, it was crazy, but it was a lot of fun. So if you like this video, please Don't give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe, subscribe down, down below. below. See you in the next video. Ciao. Ciao.